China claims its new kinetic weapon makes tanks shake and become combat ineffective. Or, that's from Interesting Engineering, South China Morning Post, this is even more catchy, kinetic energy weapon can break an American tank apart. A solid sphere weighing about 20 kilograms, approximately 44 pounds, hurling towards its target at about four times the speed of sound could spell disaster for advanced tanks manufactured to U.S. military standards. The kinetic energy carried by such a projectile would be approximately 25 megajoules. Read all about it, South China Morning Post. You're watching ESN, IC News. Let's get into this rapid fire. Very interesting. So China claims they developed a hypersonic engine that can reach Mach 16. Interestingengineering.com. Now this revolutionary dual mode rotating, detonating, and straight line obelique detonation engine setup can reach the speed or speeds of over 12,000 miles an hour, allegedly. This revolutionary new engine from the article, Interesting Engineering, I'm going to leave the link in the video description box, designed by Zhang Yining, his team at the Beijing Power Machinery Institute in conjunction with the People's Liberation Army's 93160 unit, Little is known about the engine beyond a blueprint published in the peer-reviewed journal, Chinese Journal of Propulsion Technology, back in December. The engine operates in two modes, the first being a sub-Mach 7 mode, which works as a continuous rotating detonation engine. Air from outside mixes with fuel, then it gets ignited, which leads to the creation of a shockwave. The shockwave propagates in an annular chamber. During rotation, the shockwave ignites more fuel, which results in a powerful and continuous thrust for the aircraft. China, the United States, and other nations, such as Japan, are currently working on their own concepts of this technology, initials RDE, with NASA. Contractors like GE have also recently tested prototype engines on the ground. China also reports breakthroughs in this RDE technology recently with its own ground tests and a drone variation. Now there's also another mode, the second mode, when the aircraft travels above Mach 7. Now remember, Mach 1 is the speed of sound, which is approximately 700 plus miles an hour. So when you're getting up to Mach 7, you're at about 4,900 miles an hour. That's pretty freaking fast. That's cooking. The shockwave stops rotating, focuses on a circular platform in the engine's rear. This helps maintain the thrust through a nearly straight line oblique detonation format. The researchers describe in the paper fuel auto detonating as it reaches the rear platform because of the high speed of incoming air. The engine relies on detonation as being the primary driving force. And Zhang and his colleagues did not disclose the efficiency of their engine in the research paper. However, if you look at previous scientific estimates, the explosion of combustible gases can convert approximately 80% of chemical energy into kinetic energy. And this is significant because it's an improvement compared to conventional turbofan engines, which can achieve approximately 20 to 30% efficiencies. They're slow, and they rely on gentle combustion. Zhang's team also claims their design, integrating rotational and straight-line detonations across a wide speed range, is a world-first testament to Chinese ingenuity. This solution has obvious advantages and is expected to improve the optimal thermodynamic cycle efficiency in nearly all speed ranges, bringing a revolutionary change in aerospace propulsion, the researchers said. Hmm. Also, according to Zhang's team, the transition of the new detonation engine was challenging because of the two operating modes. However, 
As the speed approaches Mach 7, the rotating detonation becomes unsustainable. Therefore, the oblique detonation mode has to be ignited fast. And according to the authors, there's some potential solutions to the problem. Wow. That's pretty intense. In the next few days, we're going to see some pretty cool tech come out by the U.S. military to show a little bit of what they got. I mean, I'm speculating here, but I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. I would actually be surprised if they didn't come out with something in the next few days to counteract what China is boasting with this technology. Because this is highly advanced tech. And they're sharing it with the public. So they're letting us know what they're working on. And buckle up, Buttercup. Thanks for watching. Hit that bell for all notifications. Check back daily for news and views that you can use and be the change you want to see. Thank you.